Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and another update video for you today on one of the apps I've been using on my iPad recently, PS Express. Now this is from Adobe and it is a fantastic uh, little application, absolutely free to download. It allows you to select photos from your photo albums. You can see one I've got on my screen already open and you can edit it with the built-in tools. Now I'm going to just cancel this just to show you what the main uh, interface looks like when you open the app up. So you can select a photo to edit or you can select a photo from your online account or you can select a photo to share. So we, we're going to choose one to edit in a short while. We've got a couple of other icons up here. We've got a setting icon which gives you access to the app settings. Uh, you can log into your Adobe ID or into your Facebook account for easy sharing. Uh, we've also got an about panel, purchases, show tips on or off and share usage data which sends some information back to Adobe. We've also got a new tab. Now the actual app is free but in this new tab Adobe are going to push in app purchases and at the moment they've got an Adobe camera pack and it allows you to reduce the noise and smooth out unwanted image grain set new timers to auto review your last image if I click on buy it should actually tell me the cost of the in-app purchase so I'm hoping it's going to there we go so it's saying the in-app purchase is going to cost me £2.39 do I want to buy it? I'm going to cancel for now but they're going to add more and more features to this as time goes on so let's select a photo to edit let's go into my pen pick a day photos and let's select this one here of some graffiti up pops the photo we've got options down here if I click on the first one we can crop straight and rotate or flip the image if I click on this next one here expose a saturation tint black and white or contrast let's pump the saturation up it comes up with a tip hide the tip slide your finger across the image to increase the saturation slide it this way to decrease the saturation very very simple to do the image updates in real time as well so let's pump that right up to uh, the maximum saturation we can get and then let's say OK so that's applied that to the photo then we can perhaps go on to this third icon along we've got sketch filter soft focus filter sharpen or reduce noise the reduce noise one has got a little tab by it means you've got to purchase that particular filter uh, let's have a look at sketch so that does some sort of filter effect to it. We can either accept it by pushing OK or we can tap cancel. Didn't like that, so let's cancel it. Let's click on the magic stars. We've got effects and borders. Let's have a look at effects first of all. So we've got one here called Vibrant. Next one along. Pop art. Like that. That's cool. That's really nice. Next one along is Vignette Blur. Not so sure on that one. Next one along is warm vintage then we've got rainbow then we've got white glow and then this one looks like black and white soft black and white I like um, let's go back to this one this rainbow effect yeah that's quite cool let's accept that and then let's have a look in that star menu again and then we've got border effects plain white border next one along we've got a rounded border next one along is going to be an oval and then we've got some other effects here, we've got soft edge really nice, then we've got vignette next one along rough edges next one along half tone, oh, I like that, that's a really cool effect and then film emulsion I'm going to stick with that last one, that film emulsion and tap OK so once we've done all the changes we can either select a new photo, we can share it online let's see what it does when I click share, so save is going to just save it to my photo album share is going to bring up the sharing options and from here we should be able to upload it to uh, da, 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 da. here we go we've got upload here to either uh, your online space with Adobe or Facebook no Twitter share at the moment which is a shame let's cancel out of that and let's go back all the way back out to my home screen so it actually saves the photo into my photo library so I can gain access to it outside of that application if I scroll to the left there's another one I did earlier really liking some of these border effects 
absolutely fantastic application, enjoying it a lot. This is Photoshop Express. It's available free in the iTunes App Store. I just wanted to share with you how I've been using it and just show you it is a very, very fun and useful application as well. I'll see you all in the next video. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.